Hi, I'm Riel, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about fostering dogs with a dog rescue. I am currently with a rescue called Wolfgang Rescue. It's based in the state that I live in, which is Wisconsin. I currently have three foster dogs as well as my own dog. I have a two-year-old lab mix, and she has her two puppies that you see here. Um, I have Ruffalo, and I have Davidson here. So all three are up for adoption. I have a lot of people asking me about how to get involved with fostering, what it entails, you know, kind of the things that come along with it. So I thought I would make a video just to explain everything. So the first thing I want to tell you is that before you commit to fostering or volunteering with a rescue, do your research on it. There's some not so reputable rescues out there. However, the one I'm with, the people that are there are great. The policies that they have are excellent. Uh, and they just really do everything possible for the dogs. So I thought it would be a really great rescue to be volunteering with. Another thing is that any rescue that you foster with usually will provide every single thing that you need for the dogs. So for example, they provide me the food that I need for the dogs. They'll provide me medicines that I need, blankets, toys, crates, anything that you could need to take care of a dog, this rescue will give it to us. So it's really, really beneficial to find a rescue that'll help you out that way because it just makes things that much easier for you. Another thing is that the rescue that I'm with, Wolfgang, lets you pick your specific dog. Sometimes, you know, you kind of get assigned a dog and that's not ideal for everybody. So with Wolfgang, I was allowed to pick the dog that I wanted to rescue. So I had a Doberman, I had, you know, some puppies, I'm pretty open to everything. I mean, I do have one dog of my own, but he's pretty social, so it makes it really easy for me to foster. And then also with Wolfgang, we just have so many resources that are available to us. We have training experts, we have tools, we have vets that will work with us. So really make sure that you're going with somebody that's gonna help you through every step of the way because that's what's gonna make you more successful in your fostering adventure. And it's just gonna make you wanna keep coming back and helping out even more and saving even more lives. The last thing I wanted to talk about is how rewarding it is. I mean, seeing these dogs come in scared and dirty and gross, really can be heartbreaking, but just to kind of mend them back into the dog that they should be and see them blossom into their personalities is really awesome. You do get a little bit attached to some of the dogs, of course, you know, it can be hard to let them go, but at the end of the day, every time you adopt a dog out, you get to save another life. So that's what keeps me going. So when it comes to fostering dogs, I know that like puppies <laughs> seem the most fun and that's what everybody wants. But just a couple things that you might not think about. This litter was a litter of eight. So it can be a lot of poop, a lot of pee in the house. Um, eight puppies was pretty time consuming to take care of, but it was still worth it. I would say I would definitely do it again. Um, so this one here, Wiggle Worm, is Ruffalo. She is 14 weeks old. She's a pit bull mix and she's currently up for adoption. Uh, as you can see, she's super friendly. She loves love. And this guy here is Davidson and I see my own dog Rambo coming around. Things that will help you be successful in your fostering adventure is kind of doing some research on dog behavior beforehand. With puppies, it's not such a huge deal, but some dogs, you know, come with some issues maybe, or just, you know, some things that might need a little work. So the more research that you do on dog training and dog behavior, the better. And just knowing what you're signing up for. So you'll see behind me, I have this little X pen set up. They're not in there all the time. They get to run around the house. They of course get to go outside and play all the time with myself, my family, uh, my dog, and of course their mama but uh, you do need to have somewhere in your house that you could potentially keep a crate just because it makes everything a little bit safer. A crate or a pen or even just a room. Uh, so it's not our job to really be these pets forever home and have them bond with our families as much as we love them. We really wanna make sure that we're preparing them to be adopted. So crate training a dog makes a dog more adoptable um, and also just fixing any things that they might have. For example, their mom, 
She did not come to be crate trained and she could be fairly destructive when left alone. So we definitely um, worked on some crate training with her. Uh, now she's really almost a bomb proof dog and she's just really ready to go to her home. This was just my first video, my kind of introduction to my channel, kind of set the tone. I really want to do more videos about dog behavior, dog training, anything that you guys might like to see about dogs. I'd be really happy if you want to leave a comment below on what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching today.